seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. The first turret spot I'm going to show you is this aggressive one on King's Row. Start by entering the choke and heading round to the right side. Head up the stairs whilst your team push toward the point. As your team aggresses forward, drop a turret behind this treetop and then head down to join your team's frontline. This turret will provide excellent pressure from the high ground in the meantime. On Paraiso, there's this absolutely busted spot you can use to defend the first point. Head round to the back of the first point and in this corner you'll find two orange bins. Place your turret on here and it'll peep just over the top, making it a hard target to hit. A simple but effective spot on Dorado, rotate around to the high ground and drop a turret next to this electricity pole. Careful not to place it too far forward though like this, it sticks out like a sore thumb, placing it a little further back sinks into the terrain a little, making it harder to hit. When Hollywood comes back into rotation, this spot is a necessary one for defending the first point. It isn't aggressive and defends the point area only, along with the flank route, so come round the back to the stairs, break these barriers, and then count these stairs until you reach the fourth step down. Place your turret on this fourth step and it'll peek just over the edge and shoot through these bushes, covering almost the whole point area and even that flank route round to the side. On Route 66 defense, this billboard actually has a neat little trick to it. You may not see it usually because all the others are, you know, a lot taller, but there is a large gap at the bottom of the billboard, large enough for Torbjorn to shoot through, along with his turret, which will cover both of the flank routes. It won't actually reach the high ground unless you place it really far up, but then it isn't as discreet. And of course, the main choke. The billboard itself and the little horizontal bar that helps hold it up make it hard to hit the turret while it's in this spot. On Circuit Royale, to defend the second stage as the payload moves past the hill, hop onto these boxes and chuck a turret on the top part of this far sloped side of the roof. This will peek just around the edge of that roof, covering the whole of the corner area and even the stairs off to that left side. On Midtown, there's a very cool spot you can use to cover practically the whole of the defender's side of the first point. Come up to the stairs toward the train, then onto this little green skirting. Now you're going to have to jump off backwards here and throw a turret, aiming to hit the middle of the train top. The turret will slide down and get caught on a little ridge, and just look at the coverage this one provides. It's obviously, you know, impossible to repair, and it isn't exactly hard to spot out, but I do imagine this one will work wonders for those Torbjorn players looking to climb out of the lower ranks. And finally, we've got a turret spot on a map soon to be in rotation, Nambani. It was difficult to find a turret spot here, so I went with the OG for all you Overwatch 1 players. As a point contesting turret, you can throw it way back up top into these bushes for when they aggress quickly onto that point area. I hope you guys enjoyed these turret spots and leave a like for a part two.